Hey, SMB Nation folks, Harry Brelsford here. I'm at the Solar Winds and Power Conference in Scottsdale, Arizona, 107 degrees outside, probably about 71 degrees inside. And I am with Robert Stevens, the founder of Geek Squad. You just gave a keynote. Uh, right on. And, you know, something I didn't tell you off camera was I actually worked with Geek Squad um, about 10 years ago on the Microsoft Small Business Specialist Certification Program, the Blue Badge. We we're trying to get people to take the test and get certified in the stores. Went out mm -hmm. to Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. Did not have the pleasure to meet you. But specific to today, I wanted to key in on the IoT topic because we're struggling. We're struggling with the relevancy of IoT in the MSP channel today. You got payroll coming up mid-month. How do I how do I convert that? And I thought you had a really good insight. You had, and, 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 and you said there's no geek squad for IoT. Then you gave an example of a company, uh, Augury, that is doing a Augury. pretty good job. What's your story? Because we, we need a little hope here on IoT. <laughs> well, IoT, it's it's fragmented, you know. Um, there's, you know, fragmented standards. Um, and there's a bit of a challenge. And a lot of the stuff is consumer-based. Yeah. But at some point, the consumer adoption of all this smart technology um, will lower the prices. Yeah. Which will then probably yeah. enable, like, MSP solutions. But the problem is that... The consumer solutions, and it's a mess out there. It is. Uh, I, I, I just don't believe people are going to pay five bucks per camera, per doorbell, per month. It just ends up becoming a bunch of nickel and diming fees. Right. Um, and then there's the reliability issue and security. And security and privacy are dominating this right now. That's right. A Apple, rightly, is doing the best job. I use HomeKit. But Apple's not going to allow a third party to remote in to a customer's set of cameras for right. business, right. as they shouldn't. But at some point, a third party access is gonna have to be allowed for this to work. So yeah. Uh, yeah. it hasn't happened yet, but the, the way I would do it is there's custom solutions you could yeah. start with. Yeah. And I think you could specialize. For example, Apple does allow you mm -hmm. to do custom HomeKit devices okay. that are not part of like the App Store. So you could... Got to sounds like a Heathkit from yesteryear. You could basically <laughs> take a Raspberry Pi or an yeah. Arduino circuit, yeah. some standard yeah. components yeah. with a standard sensor, secure the firmware, um, and let's say that you have car dealerships right. or agricultural. Yeah. I'd probably pick one vertical. That yeah, or industrial. You talked industrial. about industrial. Right. Um, and yeah, you can either find uh, solutions to resell or you could make your own. And sometimes making your own is not that you'd scale that, but it helps you learn more about where the opportunities are in the yeah. industry. So it's just like anything else. I mean, like for example, when I did tech support and house calls, there's a million people that fix your computer come to your home. Right. But what nobody had done was do it at scale. I worked on dispatch software, yeah. using the customer's printers as the terminals for payment. Yep. And nobody was doing payments on smart, and on mobile phones in 1999 I was doing it via text message and WAP yeah yeah so you know but that gave us a head start over years and that's kind of how I would do IOT today well and in your speech you said screw break fix for printers the shazam is the, the, with this firm uh, and, and some of the things they're doing is the industrial side where they're listening to the sounds of the machinery and if the sound isn't right like your washing machine or again more importantly a, a major industrial product if the sound's not right you're going to get a notification there's a monitoring opportunity so that that made sense to me i'm right, just saying if you think about managed service providers really just you know it's it's managing the gear but a lot of that's just machine to machine log messages that you're really yeah. so you're getting paid to read all the logs for the customer yeah. and anticipate problems well, why not expand that then? Every sensor, if you follow, it just, to me right now, it feels like if you follow the sensors, right. you, that's where the opportunity might be because since you already as an MSP know how to monitor things and charge right. the customer it, for yeah, that. Yeah, it's a natural act. Then why not monitor a lot more than printers and PCs? Why yeah. not monitor, and what I like about Augury is it's so far out there, but yet it's such a simple idea. We use microphones to record. For example, you know, if your car starts, your car will usually start telling you oh, a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Every right, day, we, my old Volvo. <laughs> right, and increasingly now, right, I think a lot of these washing machines do it now where Samsung, you can call an 800 number or a smartphone app, and you you hold your right. microphone near the washing machine and they <laughs> diagnose it. Now, if they can do that for the washing machine, the MSP 
IP industry has no excuse not to completely exploit yeah. this possibility. Yeah. Final comment would be, you talked about the declining cost of the sensors, that they may kind of combine a little bit of 3D printing isms and like print it out on paper and have these low cost sensors that you can put everywhere, turn that into a monitoring business. But you, I, I don't know if you want to expand on that. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool statement. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're getting very close to printing sensors because that's, that's the key, right? Is right. Sometimes for a technology to take off, it's got to be either free or near free or super cheap, like RFID, right? Not even every, right. ho most hotels are still on Magstripe uh, room keys. Right. Um, but increasingly, we're seeing, like right here, you know, at this resort in Arizona, they've got the RFID. Yep. But you know what? The next thing coming is tap with your phones, yeah. where customers yeah. can unlock a door with your smartphone or your Apple Watch. So I always watch all those trends because you can usually see the future. Uh, what they say? The future's already here, but it's not evenly distributed yet. I think <laughs> William Gibson said that. And I think that still holds true today. Yeah. Well, sir, you're a legend. It's great to finally meet you. Thank you. I know you got to run for the airport, so don't let me stand between. Uh, Until we have but, teleportation, but, I'm yeah, stuck but, on but, a plane. But, but between you and the Uber to get to the airport. That's so right. thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.